Liam, we're uh, coming towards the end of this block of Red Bull cricket. What are your reflections on your campaign so far? Yeah, look, I, I think I've had a pretty decent campaign so far. You know, um, there's obviously things that I can improve on and, and things that I can learn from. Um, but overall, I feel like I, it's been a pretty good campaign. In terms of where your game's at, I suppose, there were those five games in 2019 and then a consistent run this season. How do you feel you've maybe improved from those first showings a couple of years ago? Um, I think with my bowling especially, I've gotten a lot more consistent, you know, I've gotten a little bit more aggressive with my style of how I go about um, you know, treating batsmen a little bit, not, not trying to be harsh on people, but um, you know, just showing a bit more of a presence, um, you know, and again, it's just being really, really confident and that's the main thing for me. Is that something that just comes with time, that sort of ability to know that you do belong at, at that level? Yeah, definitely. Um, I reckon it did, it probably it took me even from this year, a couple of games just to kind of get back into it. Um, you know, after missing out last season, it was really important for me to have a pretty decent start and for me to kind of show a, a, a little bit of confidence as well. Um, and that's kind of, again, another key point for me was trying to show people what I can do. I know a lot of the time the, uh, the seam bowlers have done much of the damage before you've even had a bowl in some of these games lately, but how have you found that responsibility of being the sole spinner in the side, if you like, none of the likes of, of Ashwin or maybe Samit that may have been around in those first few games last in 2019? Yeah, look, I mean, it is a really important role in, uh, in any team. Uh, I mean, the way that I've spoken to a couple of the coaches about what my role is and how I'm going to go about it has actually really helped me a lot. Um, and the seamers, I mean, they, they've been great all, all season so far, all campaign, you know, and um, it, that's actually helped me a lot as well. It's t taken a bit of pressure off me um, and it just gives me the ability to kind of go out there and, and show what I can do. And to have had that run, all, all seven games we've played so far to have, to have played a part in, does that help you to, um, to kind of improve your game as you go along? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, the more you play, the more you're going to get better, really. So, you know, especially making that first, first team of the season, that was really, really important to me. You know, I wanted to, uh, to break through straight away and, you know, it's a big season regardless. Um, but for me, it was a really important season to try and break into that team straight away. And yeah, I mean, when I've uh, when I've played, I've just kind of gained confidence, and it's been a really good campaign. We've seen uh, in the celebrations from well, from everyone on the field really, and those wins, those three wins on the bounce, just what it's meant out there to uh, to get over the line. But what difference do you think that's made to the, the dressing room as a whole to have chalked those victories up? Yeah, it's a massive, massive thing. You know, it's been a, a couple of seasons since we since, since we hadn't won. Um, you know, and to be able to get back to back to back wins, I think is really, really important. And we talk a little bit about momentum with it and, and whatnot. And I think we've played really, really good cricket so far this campaign to be able to get those wins. And I think we fully deserve them. We saw a, a little bit of your work earlier on today down at Lady Bay. Um, as we get into this phase of the season, when games are still been coming thick and fast, what sort of things are you looking to work on between games? Just repair work, really. So, you know, getting my back into my action and, and trying to improve my consistency again. Um, and really just get my workloads up. So the past couple of games, I haven't really bowled too many overs. Um, obviously at Warwickshire, I bowled, bowled quite a few, but um, it's just about maintaining workloads and kind of keeping up with everyone else. Um, you know, it's the same with batting as well. Just got to keep it everything up. And again, just the more you train, the more you're going to get better. And when it comes to this, this next game, a couple of days out as we sit here at the moment, um, with the likes of, of Sir Alistair Cook in the, the batting lineup, the likes of Simon Harmer bowling, Peter Siddle as well. How does that um, kind of, I suppose, excite you for the challenge, the level of play you might be competing against? Yeah, it's really exciting. Um, you know, it's, it's, it, was always, it was always a shocker for me um, coming in and kind of I, just sitting here and watching, watching games of cricket anyway, but when I was younger, but, um, you know, being able to play against against some top quality players is a really exciting challenge and I can't wait to get going. And where do you see your aims for the, the rest of the campaign? Yeah, look, I mean, I want to maintain my, my spot as the number one spinner in the team. Um, it's going to be really hard work, but I, I feel like I'm, I've got the capabilities to do that. I just need to put in the hard graft and make sure that I stay there.